I think Boo just let rip some really stinky farts. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo, Sammy, Richard, Nancy, Goldie, Ziggy, Ringo, Eva, Hydrox, and Ditto. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's almost 5 p.m. and there are three cats on the bed. Nancy, Ziggy, and Richard. And I have a popsicle. They've never had a popsicle before. Will you guys want a popsicle? It's a frozen churu. You want it? Gotta lick it. You gotta lick it. You don't want it? It's tuna. It's a tuna popsicle. Gotta lick it. The OG4 used to love these. Lick it. It's cold. It's ice cold. Richard, you want a popsicle? Gotta lick it. Don't bite it. Lick it. Gotta lick it. You want it? You gotta lick it. It's cold. Yeah, that's it. Lick it. Don't bite it. It's cold. Lick it. Nancy keeps headbutting my hand. Ziggy loves anything fish, and this is tuna, so she should like it. Nancy keeps headbutting my hand. Don't bite it, just lick it. It's cold. This is Ziggy's first popsicle. She's doing very good. The OG4 used to bite into it and get like brain freeze. You want some? You don't want it? Don't bite it. It's ice. It's falling off. It's going to fall off. It fell off. Okay, you eat that. Nancy's touching it. It's cold, Nancy. Don't let it melt. Eat it before it melts. Eat it before it melts, Ziggy. Eat it before it melts. Eat it. It's going to start melting. The one that's in my, the other one that's in my hand is going to start melting. Almost done, almost done. <laughs> Nancy's trying it. I put it on her paw. I put it on her arm. She's looking at Let's see if Sammy would like some. Sammy, it's a popsicle, unless it's it's mush now. Yeah. Want it? Lick it.
I don't know if the camera is focusing. Here, Richard. Eat that. Eat it. <laughs> Which is like, it's cold. Like, that's cold. You don't want it? Okay. I'm making a mess on the vomit blanket. Nancy's still looking on that piece. Eat that piece. Every time I try to feed this to Ziggy, Nancy has a headbutt in my hand. Look, look, see? <laughs> Eat that piece before it stains. Okay, good. Simba, you want some? Here, you want some here? It's frozen. I can't put it on the ground. Boo, you want it? Are you done? doing good because they're not trying to bite it.
It is 9.30 a.m. Here's Simba. There's Boo. He just ran in the room. He just got flea combed. He has no fleas. There's Splash. There's Stella. Let me tell you what happened last night. So last night, for some reason, I decided to put a little light on in this room. I have like a little portable light and... Good morning, Boo. And I thought I would put it on as a night light in this room. This is toilet paper for flea combing. And it was a little bit bright for a night light, but I was like, it should be fine. So what happened was the cats took that as an opportunity to be up and playing all night. Specifically Simba and Splash. They were like a herd of elephants running around the house. I mean, they had a great time. And Stella was playing with the spider toy and the palm tree. And it was the three of them. Boo was laying on my bed. So I fell asleep for, I don't know, maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. And then they woke me up because they were making so much noise. And then I was like, okay, I'll just shut my door to the bedroom and it should be fine. They were still making so much noise. And then it got to the point where... Like, it almost sounded like a fight, but I knew that they were playing. But Simba and Splash, like, were super vocal with each other. And they've been more vocal with each other since the Lucky Seven have been in the house. It's like they're learning cat speak all over again. And it was funny because yesterday I was sitting on the couch. Simba jumped up on the couch because there was, like, a bug near the window. And Splash enters the room meowing like he's looking for... Simba. And I know that meow because it's the same meow the Lucky Seven does when they're looking for each other. And he continued to meow as he walked through the room until he got to Simba. And I was like, oh my gosh, they've completely started using additional vocabulary. It's like they've taken on additional cat vocabulary because they've always been pretty quiet cats. Here's Simba now. And they still are much quieter than the Lucky Seven are. Like the Lucky Seven are always talking. Someone's always talking. Sammy's always talking. And Ziggy likes to talk, and even Richard and Nancy, they communicate with each other through meowing, through various forms of meowing, much more so than the OG4 does. So I eventually had to shut off the light because I was like, I need to get some sleep. And once I shut off the light, then it was quiet. Everyone was calm. So I'm going to maybe try it again tonight and see what happens if I leave a light on. Are they going to stay up and play all night? I mean, I think it's good for them to stay up and play because they'll get more exercise that way and they were having a good time. But at the same time, I need to get some sleep. It is 1120 a.m. and I'm so proud of Sammy right now. So Sammy's been playing with the spider on the palm tree very nicely. She hasn't been trying to steal it or run off with it or go crazy over it. Like she's been playing really nicely. Nancy was playing with her a little while ago and now she's here. She's just watching the spider. Look, look. It's 11.10 a.m. and here's Simba. He's hanging out in the hallway here, just staring into Boo's room at somebody who's in Boo's room. And there's Richard. And Richard has been staring at Simba. I think that's Richard. I'm pretty sure it is. Sometimes I'm like, well, is that little Eva? But no, I don't think it's little Eva. I'm pretty sure it's Richard. It's hard to tell Richard, Ringo, and little Eva apart when they're facing you like this. From the side, it's really easy because you can see the pattern on their coats. But like this, they have very similar faces. But anyway... I think this is a really good sign because they've been sitting here staring at each other for quite some time. And this seems to be the next step in the progression. Like the cats will stare at each other and they'll just stare at each other and then they'll get more comfortable being near uh, each other. That is the case. That's what happened with like Nancy and Sammy. So um, I just find it really interesting that Simba has not been like afraid of the lucky seven, he's just really been kind of more, um, he's not necessarily like interacting with them, but he's been like more available. Like he's been more in, he's been closer to them. He's not hiding on top of something or underneath something or anything like that. He's just like, okay, I'm just going to hang out here. It is 9.03 AM and the cats are having breakfast or the first part of their breakfast. And it's some homemade raw turkey-based food 
and they get a hard-boiled egg mixed into it and some ground zucchini mixed into it and they're getting the gut supplement this is ion gut support for pets and I've been using this for the past several days they get just a few drops of this on their food and so far we have not had any vomit issues but I've also you know cut their meals in half so they're getting a small portion now and then they'll get a small portion in like an hour or two like Sim Splash just finishes really fast he might eat part of Simba's but with these smaller portions even if a cat eats two portions they should not vomit from it because it's not going to be too much food they also got um, two of the multivitamin treats on their food and they got a bunch of field treat and they seem to be enjoying their breakfast and what I've been doing is I've been using this spoon so this spoon is from those uh, mouse crunchy feeders and uh, this measures out like how many crunchies to put in one of the little mice and what I realized is that this says it's 1.6 tablespoons, which is about the size of a mouse. So I've been using this to portion out their food, and I figure this is how much food they would get if they hunted a mouse. So this is what they're getting for their meal. Now, obviously, if they eat their meal in like an hour or two, I will give them a little bit more food. It's 11.15 a.m. and here's Boo. I'm sitting at the dining room table getting work done. I'm like literally five, six feet away from him. And then all of a sudden, I started smelling cat poop and I'm like what is going on the landscapers just left so I'm like did one of the landscapers take a poop in my yard like what is going on so I looked out the window I don't see any animals outside and I was trying to figure out where the smell was coming from there's nobody in the litter box it doesn't smell like anyone's in the litter box it actually smelled more like dog poop than cat poop, if that makes any sense. Like, if you ever smelled dog poop, it smells a little bit different than cat poop. So I'm like, what is going on? I think Boo was farting. I think Boo was farting. Because the smell seemed to be coming from, like, this area over here. And he wasn't pooping. He was just hanging out in this cat tower. I think Boo just let rip some really stinky farts. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Boo, you got gas? I didn't hear anything, but I sure smelled it. watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.